Alright, so this is just a quick video on how to replace the filament on your MakerBot method. Uh, I couldn't really find any videos out there, so I thought this would help someone. Uh, so what you do is over on the menu here, you go to Material, and then uh, note the empty one. So it's right here, it's in Material Bay 1. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and open that up, and you can see it's definitely empty. And I'm going to press Unload. And now it's just going to start heating up for a little while. So it tells you everything you need to know on the screen here. The screen really takes you through it. Uh, right now it just says that the material is backing out, so it's just going to take a few minutes to do that. Okay, now what it's telling us to do is to actually rewind the spool. So I'm just carefully going to start pulling this out. There shouldn't be too much resistance. And now it's completely out, so I can take this off. Um, I like to recycle these, so if you get a screwdriver, uh, you can stick it in there and pop this piece out. Oops, other side. Nope. You can pop this piece out, and then take out the desiccant from inside here and throw that out. And then this can be recycled and then just take the filament off of here and this can be recycled as well. So now we actually need to put the filament in. Uh, so I chose uh, Tough PLA Black. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and open it up and uh, note that there's one side that has an indentation on it. So that's the side that goes down into the machine. And you can just rest it there and it should move easily. Um, now you want to take your filament and just be careful that you don't let it unravel too much. So I'm actually going to pinch it here and take it out. So just make sure to keep holding it. And I'm going to take my wire cutters and I'm just going to snip off that bent part right there. And now we're all set. So over on the screen here, um, we're going to press done since it's done uh, unloading the filament. And now we can load in a new spool. So we press load. Okay, we already removed the bent material. And now it's telling us to push it in. So there's a little slot right here that you carefully push it into. And you can actually hear the motor activate in here in the material bay. And then you can see it uh, will take it and it starts feeding it up to the extruder. Okay, so now it's fully loaded up to the extruder, uh, so we can go ahead and close this bay door and make sure it latches. Um, and now we just need to wait for it to start extruding, so we just want to see that some filament comes out of it. And usually it takes a couple seconds. Um, right now I changed, I, I had black in there originally, and I'm putting black in again. Uh, but let's say you were you had orange in there originally and you're going to black, uh, you'd want to let it uh, extrude for a little while and you can watch the color change. Uh, that way you have a you don't have uh, multicolored parts. And so it's extruding, so I can press on the screen here. I'm going to press confirm material extrusion. Okay, and then I just need to clear this excess material. All right, and now I press done, and we're all set to go. So another good thing to do every time you change over the filament, uh, it's good to get in the habit of going through the assisted leveling and also cleaning your extruders uh, and leveling the bed. That's a good thing to do every time you change the filament. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope it was helpful.